Hello everyone, TMAN978. Right now we're going to be taking a look at Super 7 Ultimate's Thundercats Lino. TMAN978 Chill Review. Major shout out to my friend subscriber, Winston, for letting me review this. The box is much like Panthro, so I'm not going to hold y'all too much. Same thing. Says this right there. This is what it looks like in the package. Awesome. Opening it right now. It was already like that when I opened it out the box, Winston. All right, here's everything out of the package. I'm going to try to be quick. He has two extra sets of gripping hands that look completely redundant and I can't tell the difference between them. I, I can't at all. One of these hands should have been the other had, had the joint that goes up and down like that. The roll of the dice as they say on some people's channel. Here is a secondary angry face which actually does look really good and it's nicely painted. You get two more furry like claw shields with the details right there on the, the knuckles this one can actually be pegged onto the arm while this one is the scabbard mode that's supposed to be plugged into the side of them like you see that one right there this one as you can see which also can be plugged into the arm is more shiny and cartoon like i'm guessing the original toy probably looked more like this but I don't know. I, I never got to own them as a kid. Here is the Book of Omens. Doesn't open up. It's fully painted. There seem to be some scraping right there. The Sword of Omens. Yeah, there you go. That. Um, only thing accessory-wise I, I think that it's missing is the small wait unless this comes out does this come out this doesn't feature that detail so hmm, you know what this should come off well, let me yeah there we go so no never mind they got it i was gonna say this is the only thing missing because you used to pull this out and you know thunder thunder thundercats and make it extend Putting all types of innuendos out there. Uh, here's the inside of the clod. I didn't show that. This one's not painted. But these two are painted. And with this. Yeah, I guess this is just for show. Because since it, the toys. They like to sometimes. Put things in a box like the original toys. But you can't. That peg hole isn't poked out. So I can't put this on the side of them. So. It was almost worthless to even add that. But here is the face that he comes packaged with, which is nice. Kind of cockeyed, just like Panthro. I don't know if that's purposeful, but sitting looking like that, it is reminiscent of the cartoon, and I like it. They have the more muscular body. I think it's probably a bit more squat which is kind of in line. It's like a compromise between the cartoon and this. You see the paint detail is like shading up in there. It's not all one solid color. These are rubbery and it should have a gap right there, just like Panthero. But same shading detail that you probably can't actually see due to the lighting. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Same articulation. The head does look up a bit. It doesn't really look down, but I guess they want him to look up while he's holding the sword aloft. And none of the hands are the roll of the dice hand, so there you go with that. I guess this hand can hold the book as well. You could make it dual wield if I felt like doing that articulation. But the arm comes out like this. There's no type of butterfly action. You can rotate it. It can come in 
that much bicep rotation bicep rotation i say there we go it bends 90 degrees wrist does this and swivel ab crunches back that much crunches forward that much almost feels scary but almost not even a real crunch swivel right there legs go out all the way you can kick forward to about there comfortably this does bend but i'm not comfortable bending no more than that thigh rotation 90 degree bend this 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 ankle pivot there are pegs in the front of the toes now i am told that there's supposed to be a re-release of these this and that panthro and they are supposedly pinless but i'm not sure I'm, I'm hearing so much mixed stuff in the comments but let's try to put on some of these other accessories there you are that Rawr! and let's give him an actual tighter grip hand so he can hold the sword of omens more sturdy like try to get him into yeah, a better more fighting pose come on that's what I was doing off camera the whole time I was messing with Panthro because it does look like the guy let me make sure the ankle pivot is pivoted uh, they are here he is next to panthro and shocker of the century they're the same height i can't believe it yeah for what it's worth y'all watch my channel you already heard my panthro review or you already watched it if you didn't you should but to reiterate this is a line that i did not start collecting because number one they cost way more money than i think they're worth and their articulation is lacking it is very hard to get it into a pose other than stoic so it's like they are nice to have on your shelf to give you a representation of that character you liked from the 80s and they do look nice but it's almost like they're more posable statues than actual action figures technically they are action figures because they have several points of articulation and you could do stuff in fact a a figure with three points of articulation is an action figure, if, if you want. But, yeah, I'm not going to say it's bad, but I I personally want something well that has more articulation. Yeah, like, if they made a deal and put them into the Masterverse line, I would at least take that. But the accessories look nice. Some of them are redundant because it's just... The same grip twice, and I, I, I don't understand that. Maybe one is a supposed to be a toy accurate hand, one cartoon, but there's like literally almost no difference. Um, these are cool. I like that they added this as an option, but it doesn't peg you. Or maybe you know what? Hold on. And I guess we could do this. I don't know if that's toy accurate. <laughs> and somebody's probably screaming hey you can put it on the other way but that looks dumb i'm sorry check this out for anybody that wanted to do me to do this side beyond side if you hold the arm right i tried to tell chichara this never usually happens but anywho yeah if you like what i showed you and you see it at a price that you think is great go ahead get it i'm not gonna stop you Anyway, thank you once again, Winston. Until next time, everybody else, thank you all for watching. E Man 978, out of here. Figure action. That one's me. Join the Syndicate Toy Hunters Facebook group. Link in the description. Click, click the videos. Click the videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You should.
should really click these videos. Click, click the videos. Click those in videos, baby. Click, click the videos. You really should click those videos. Click the.